Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I am going to be doing it TK Max. Finally, I get to do the end of my TK Max. Now guys, I'm just going to quickly give you a, a, an explanation to what happened with TK Max as I think you should know. Um, basically, I ordered online um, because they had nothing in my um, Bentley Bridge store and I mean nothing. I don't think they've ever had anything in there to be honest with you. I, I, I grabbed them globes at the beginning and that was about it. So I decided to order online and I didn't quite, <sighs> I didn't think that ordering and then collecting in store was a thing. So I, it didn't even enter my head. So I ordered um, my first two globes and they came the next day. I paid £7. They came next day with DPD. They were perfect. They were well packaged. Not a problem. I've put all the polyste polystyrene steam away. So when I do move, I can put them back into the original packaging. And then I decided, well, go on, I'll order another one. So I seen the globe that had the silver haunted house inside and it was sat on a stack of books that said spells. Well, I do have the stack of books that says spells with an owl on it that lights up. And I did want to get the torso of the skull on it, but I didn't get it, couldn't find it anywhere. But I seen this globe and I was like, oh, that's a glove I've been after for a whole year and finally it comes on to TK Maxx online. So I paid £9.99 for it and I paid standard £3.99 delivery with Hermes. I did think I was risking it with it being glass. Hermes don't take responsibility for glass items. I knew I was risking it and I did have a little bit of an inkling that I may not get this globe. So turns out that it never turned up and 10 days later I contacted um, TK Maxx who told me that they're going to contact Hermes, investigate it. I waited two days. Then they contacted me and said, apparently it's been broken. They're waiting for clarification from Hermes. In the meantime, I tried contacting Hermes seven times, could not get through to them. Useless, absolutely useless. Guys, if you go with Hermes, I've been with Hermes for 10 years and I've never had an issue with them. But to try and get hold of anyone human is an absolute joke. He just, there is nobody. It's a bot and the bot just repeats itself over and over again. And I was effing and jeffing at the bot because I was like, you're not answering my question. <laughs> so in the end, I gave up with Hermes and I went through Take Care Max. And then they said, it's all been sorted. We will refund you. Happy days. I, I did clarify that, you know, who was responsible for breaking it and they couldn't answer that. I personally blamed both of them and left it at that. Then before my refund even came into my account, I decided to reorder that bloody globe and I reordered it again after arguing with um, Olivia, whoever she was, um, that there was plenty left in store. I wasn't to worry. So I ordered it and this time um, I paid next day delivery. Well, they give me a voucher to say sorry for the smashed one. And I decided to order one of the items that I've got here. Mm -hmm. And uh, next day delivery, sorted, done, finished. Saturday, DPD emailed me saying my parcel will be left in the porch as requested. Saturday came, no, nothing. Sunday came, nothing. Monday morning I rang DPD and I said, where's my parcel? They said, we're really, really sorry. It got smashed before it even entered our warehouse. Huh? And I had to contact TK Maxx. So I was raging, I was angry, I contacted TK Maxx. Cut a long story short, um, they said sorry, blah, 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 and said we will refund you again. This time I was out of pocket for three globes. So I had to wait for my refund this time. I didn't have any more finances to go ahead and order it again. So I waited and waited and then I went online and I somebody suggested why don't you order it and do click and collect. So I went online to order it. The goddamn globe I've been after him for 12 months has gone. So I was really, really upset. I cried out of frustration and anger. And then I put in a massive complaint because when my refund went in, they refunded me only um, a little bit of the money and kept the rest. 
So I ranted and raved and in the end I got compensated £37 and I got my refund. So then I did a click and collect guys. I collected the items when they come in store and they were perfect. So cut a long story short, do not order with next day delivery, do not order with Hermes, do a click and collect if that's possible because I'm disabled and I, I even struggled when to collect these. I had to take them out of the big box and put them in the, the smaller box into my bag and it worked for me. So guys, let's get stuck in. Last TK Maxx of the year. I have got a mix of a few other things as well. So first things first guys, this is the item I ordered the second time that got broken the second time. Zach picked this one and I was more frustrated that Zach waited on bloody Saturday for it to turn up and it didn't. So yes, I had a very sad little boy on my hands as well. So it's the car and it says Happy Halloween. This is the first size compared to the one I got with the skeletons guys that I broke. Not them, me. Um, but this one's quite a larger scale of car and then it's got Mr and Mrs Pumpkin driving, a ghost passenger, a cat in the front two pumpkins at the back as you can see and the car's got like cobweb designs on there and it's just sequ um it's just glitter guys it's not bats or anything like that and it doesn't play any music as you can see it's a good heavy solid piece guys this was 9.99 worth 9.99 and for me it was free so it pays to pull your face when things you've been waiting for for over two and a half weeks get broken so that was my first item guys and um it says boo on the front as well i've not really noticed a lot about it but i've had to put it up high because that thinks it's the car to play with so that was my first globe obviously i had to get another globe so i went for this one which was 9.99 as well and it was the two skulls i collect skulls so it's all right i just would have preferred the book and the haunted house one but there's always next year guys so i grabbed this one um it was all wrapped up perfect it's got skull and filigree design in the base it's quite a heavy piece as well guys and it's not a musical one i don't know what it says at the back warning this is not a toy and um perfect i love it i love the whole detail it sat on roses like a silver cast silver iron roses and then she's got one on her head um, it goes really, really nice with my other skull globe. For now, this is staying downstairs with the other because I just absolutely love it. So that was my £20, guys. I had 37 So um, I also grabbed this, which was also 9 99 I've had my eyes on this for a while. Now, I got two skeleton statues about this size from um, the range last year, which were the Michael Jackson um, skulls skeletons i know that this year they did the marilyn and the elvis i didn't grab either i'm not into elvis and i'm not really into marilyn but i did like the marilyn but by the time i went to grab it she'd sold out so instead i grabbed this dude and he actually matches my two michael jackson ones he just looks more of a, a haunted halloween dude and he's on one of these things which i can't remember what they're called it'll bug me now and he's carrying two happy pumpkins and uh, it's not as heavy as I thought it'd be, guys. Um, I think it's, I don't know if it's made out of wood, to be honest with you guys, but for 10 quid, it's worth it. The ornaments are quite big when you think, considering two ornaments that I've got here that I thought would have been a big size and they're actually not, but we'll go into that in a minute. So that was my 30 pounds spent, guys. Now, when I was in the store, I actually picked up a piece of clothing because I could not find anything in store that I wanted apart from beauty. I didn't want any more palettes. Nothing, nothing whatsoever was, was jumping out at me to buy as beauty goes. Um, but I seen this skirt and I was like, I like that. So it's a stripy, stretchy skirt, guys, and it has the button design. It looks tiny because it is tiny, guys. This is a goddamn size eight. I have fitted in a size eight top that looks identical to this that my sister got me, and that was a size eight, and I fitted in that. I do think I'll fit in this. It does have a really good stretch on it. I am losing weight, so I may get down to a size 10, and eight to 10 is not that, that difference. And I'm losing weight on my legs, so it might not look as bad 
um, being a, a bigger size. Guys, this was $7.99. I had to put a pound to it, I think it was. I got seven pounds. Yeah, I had to put a pound to it. I did grab something else while I was in there, so and I grabbed that with my money. Guys, this is a Zara designer skirt. Um, the original price has been ripped off, but I can imagine when I looked online, it was something round about, um, I think it was £32 or something. I was like, what? £32? They did have the top to this as well, guys, but I didn't like the top. It was it was not my cup of tea. Um, when I wear something like this, I would probably wear a nice black um, body top with it or a red top or a black jumper. I will not wear a stripy jumper with stripy. It just looks a bit stupid. It's like wearing this with stripy tights. It'd be too much stripe. I'd just wear my nice black woolly tights with these, if any, the big boots. And um, yeah, $7.99 guys. So I paid a pound technically for this. So that was my refund. Um, I've not tried this on yet, guys. I don't know if I want to try it yet. I might wait until I've lost a bit more weight. But if I do try it on, I'll take a picture so you can see what it looks like on. Or I'll set it up here so you can get to see what it looks like on. So that was that, guys. Now, swiftly moving on before I do the other two ornaments I've got here. I went upstairs to see if they did have any decor left and all they had left was tat really and they had this left and I thought oh well that's all right. It was $1.99. It's a spooky cookie um, cutter. They had a cake mould one as well with ghosts and then another one with witch's hat $2.99. I'm kicking myself that I didn't grab both of them because we make cakes every year in this household. I do already have lots of spooky um, biscuit cutters but this year we've decided to avoid making cakes um, and we're just going to make biscuits with some icing on and I've got the little sprinkles. So I got this instead and one says boo and one's a little ghost. And I don't know the original price. Oh, $5.99 and I paid $1.99. So that was that. This is not TK Maxx, but I grabbed it in the works. It's a school colouring book. I do like doing this. I have um, I have proper pencils, Faber Castle, I think they're called. Um, I used to do a lot of colouring. I've got the Anne Stokes Gothic book. I have lots of school books. And I just thought this would be nice for me and Zach to sit down and do together as mummy and son some of it would be a little bit too difficult for zach but the plain ones like this i think me and zach would probably sit down and do it and guys it was i think it was one pound fifty from the works so they did have a lot of gothic things in there like coloring books and so far moving swiftly on this is nothing to do with tk maxx but i grabbed these two ornaments um online from um, a jim shaw i think he's a designer he makes lots of halloween things there was a third item to go with this guys i didn't buy it it was a cat with a witch's hat on i just thought the eyes looked a bit odd and it was 16 pound these were 16 pound each guys i'm going to take them out of the box so you can see but i think for 16 pound i was expecting something bigger i'd never never check sizes guys and i always i always say to everybody else check sizes when you're buying things now these are ornamental guys and I will be putting these on display, so I'm glad that I'm showing you guys now because I can quite happily put the boxes up in the loft with all my collectible things and um, keep it safe because when I do move, all my ornaments will be going back in boxes. So £16 each, guys. I will link them down below in the description box. I don't think they're available anymore. I had to wait for this one here for I think it was five weeks. They did tell me that they were waiting for stock to arrive. So it is what it is. This one came pretty much two days after. So this one may be available. If any is available, I'll stick in the description box below. Um, everything else I probably won't be able to because they'll probably be gone. But this is all dedicated to Halloween this year. And this is the last of my Halloween things. So here is my first one, guys. So these are wooden craft. I don't know a lot about Jim Shaw, but I will read what it says on the box about it. So let me just get my glasses. I do have a cup of tea with me, guys, which is going quite cold. So this is a Jim Shaw, guys, and it's called the Mini, Mini Jack-O-Lantern with Owl. Um, it's handcraft in incredible detail. Each design features the unique combination of colour and folk 
art style that is unstakably Jim Shaw. So guys, it is made from wood. It says here, this is the 2020 design. So this is the new Hartwood Creek and it's a registered mark design, guys. And absolutely love this one. I mean, I, I should have got the whole set to be honest with you guys, because you probably won't see these again until next year, but never mind. So I grabbed that one, guys. And my second one, I just had to have this one. I got this one first, the owl one, and, and I didn't want the cat, but then this one came on a week after, and I was like, oh, I've got to have that one. So this one is the Mini Day of the Dead. See, it even said mini, guys, and I still didn't clock on that they were tiny. Mini Day of the Dead Jack-O-Lantern. It's handcrafted, incredible detail, exactly what it's just said. And he has a website as well, guys, and it's www.jimshaw.com. I will link that down below. You may be able to go directly to his shop and buy these. I mean, I'm going to go on his shop and just see if they've got any more designs. I would like the whole set if possible just not the cat because it had wonky eyes but i love the eyes on the owl and i love the eyes on these so they're proper um heavy not too heavy this seems a lot lighter than this this seems a bit heavier but they are they are wood guys so that you know with them being wood you, if you did drop them the only thing i think would break was the little embellishments that, that, that's on there but that is my haul for the tk max halloween haul I know the skirt is not Halloween, but I just thought you could wear this for Halloween and I could wear my Day of the Dead, like top that goes on the top on my headband. Still Halloween. All right, guys, that is it. So no more TK Maxx, guys, for 2020. Let's hope next year TK Maxx um, do a little bit better. I think this year Poundland have won the um, Halloween as well as the small independent businesses they always win in my eyes but for for bigger name shops this year i would definitely have to say poundland's won for me without a doubt more of my decor this year has come from there a lot of my globes have come from tk max but anyway you all know the score because everybody's had the same difficulties all right guys take care of yourself i hope you liked this haul Comment down below which one do you like the best? I mean, for me, out of all of these, I would have to say the the car is my favourite. I didn't think it would be because I, I didn't want this Zach wanted it, but now I've got it, absolutely love it. And you know, I do let Zach sit down and put it on his knee and shake it, and he he's mesmerised by the whole glitter thing. But he prefers the musical ones. So, all right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.